<laughs> is this video showing that camel eating a fish real, or is it just some kind of a hoax? I've got the answer to that one and a whole bunch of other crazy stuff you guys sent in. Like this bizarre two-tailed fish, another fish that looks like it was made out of bubble gum, a 30-foot sea serpent, and much, much more. It's gonna be a rockin' deep dive of a show, so don't go away. Hey guys, Bill here. You know, the internet is filled up with all sorts of crazy pictures of mysterious sea life. But the problem is, how do you tell which one's real and which one is fake? Well, you send them in to me and my research team, we check it out, and we give you the answer. I mean, how simple is that? That's marvelous. Okay, so today we're gonna take a look at five photos, all sent in by you guys, of bizarre undersea critters. We're gonna take a look at each one of them and let you know which one is which or what or whatever. Well, you know what I mean. Number five is this fearsome looking fish with a mouth that's bigger than its whole head. This picture was sent in by Emily Conway and her two kids, Alec and Tegan. They wrote, Bill, is this thing real or fake? Guys, we did a quick check and guess what? It's real. It's called a sarcastic fringe head, and let me tell you, it does not play nice. When two of these undersea bullies meet, they open up their huge mouths as wide as they can to try to establish who's the boss. And oh, one more thing, that name, sarcastic fringe head, it doesn't mean they like to make snide remarks. Instead, it actually refers to their razor sharp teeth. You see, the original meaning of the word sarcastic actually means to strip off the flesh. But I'm not quite sure the context of that one. Number four is this intriguing underwater oddity. It was first sent in by Kyoshi Takasu, who just asked, is this picture real or is it fake? Kyoshi, I know there's a lot of posters out there that are claiming that this mutant was caught near the site of that gigantic nuclear power radiation leak at the Chernobyl power plant in Russia. But that's just not true. It really comes from a Photoshop contest on the infamous Worth 1000 website, a one-stop shop for the biggest collection of fake clickbait on the internet. The big giveaway on this one is the mouth, as in, there isn't one. I mean, how does a fish get that big and fat with no mouth or any other place to put food in? Number three is this 32-foot monster sent in by Mythical Diamond TNT and Cause Tub Nyack. Both want to know if there's any way this could be real. Guys, if this picture is keeping you from going to the beach, it shouldn't, because in reality, it's so, so fake, fake, it's, it's funny. funny! If you scroll down to the bottom of the picture, you'll see a notice indicating this creature is the creation of my old friend, the rogue taxidermist, Takishi Yamada. On his official website, Takishi takes full credit for the making of this creature. He goes on to claim that this and other creatures from his Museum of World Wonders were not created by any other humans on this planet or by intelligent humanoid life forms from outer space. Okay, but what about non-humanoid life forms from outer space? Next up is this odd picture claiming to show a real fish that looks like a gigantic lump of chewed up bubble gum. It was first sent in by Sean Watson who asked, is this a mutant pink Mr. Potato Head or something far more sinister? Sean, thanks to some great work by my dedicated Facebook readers, I can assure you that this jiggly mass of pink protoplasm is actually real. According to Facebook reader and super sleuth Timothy Aruda, this is what is basically called a scorpion fish. It lives in and around the reefs of the Indo-Western Pacific. It can grow up to seven and a half inches, or about 19 centimeters. While it's not considered dangerous, you might want to keep your distance as it has numerous venomous tentacles hanging off its body. Hey, before we go on to our last picture today, I just want to remind you guys that if you're not getting enough real or fake here on YouTube, you can always head over to my Facebook where there's a new real or fake photo or video posted every day, seven days a week. Now, the fun thing about the Facebook channel is that it's got a lot of people in the comment section that are really serious about tracking down the truth of these photos and videos. It's just a lot of fun to participate. So I'm gonna leave a link down here in the description box. So click on that, head on over, become a part of the community, and please 
Don't forget, hit the like button for me because it helps a lot. And now for our last photo today, we have this psychedelic sea specimen sent in by Ben Ong. Ben, I know this may look like a ceramics project gone bad, but actually it's real. It is what is commonly known as a sea urchin. And what's even more amazing is this isn't one, it's actually two sea urchins. The one on the top is a rare one and it actually has a pretty funny story to it. It was first discovered by a scientist who was asked to identify a mysterious seashell that was being sold on eBay. The auction price shot way up when they realized that this was a previously unknown species of sea urchin. The one on the bottom is commonly known as a Sputnik urchin, probably because the spiky appendages make it look like a vintage Russian satellite. I get the reference, but if you ask me, those rounded appendages on this particular specimen make it look more like feeding time for a bunch of hungry piglets. Okay, well there you have it for this video, but hey, if you're still interested in knowing what the scoop is with that camel trying to eat a fish, hang around for just a second. I first want to just thank everybody all over the world for sending in all the amazing stuff you send me every week. And hey, don't forget, if you've got a picture or a video and you're not quite sure whether it's real or not, send it in to me at billschannel at gmail.com and I'll take a look. Please don't leave suggestions or links in the comment section because the only thing that does, honestly, is make me Crazy! Okay, so what about this camel that looks like it's eating a fish? Well, the truth of this one is we don't know exactly where it was recorded or who recorded it, but one thing I can tell you is camels are herbivores as in vegetarians. So unless this one has taken a liking to sushi, this video is fake. Notice how it chews but never swallows. Camels can, however, drink out of water bottles. See you next time.